Hi, my name's Paul. Today I'm just going to talk about the southern cassowary. It's a flagship species here in the Daintree rainforest, but it also in a lot of rainforests south of here as well. Now their habitat today ranges from the Daintree, uh, the upper part of the Daintree, all the way down to your Mission Beach area. Um, and that habitat used to be much larger, but due to um, what we've done with separating rainforest and cropping and farming, we've changed a lot of their habit patterns and what they can do and where they generally live now. Uh, but in the Daintree, they are thriving, they're doing well as an untouched rainforest, um, really unhindered, they're, they're doing a great work here. Some of the things they do is help keep a lot of trees in the Daintree rainforest viable. A lot of our ancient species and unique trees, plants, uh, they eat and propagate and also transfer from the mother tree a lot of those um, seeds and fruits to then grow. Now even some of those trees that they do eat the seeds or fruits of only have a germination rate of about 5% or less. Once it's passed through the cassowary and delivered back down into the ground, they have an over 90% germination rate. So they play a key role here in the rainforest in keeping it what it is. Um, they're very unique in the fact that the mother will have nothing to do with her chicks except lay the eggs. Then the father will, will hatch and then raise the chicks. So if you ever see a cassowary chick, a little stripy fella, and then an adult with it, it is the father taking care of the young. Uh, but we love the cassowaries around here. They're quite placid and relaxed, beautiful creature, but very large and also have an element of danger about them with a large claw on the inside of their feet. Um, so when you see them, enjoy seeing them, take photos, but just be cautious.